Women now make up 10% of the construction industry. That's doubled in the last decade. But only 4% of those women work in the trades, like carpentry, plumbing, and electrical. Now one woman is making it her mission to bridge the gap and bring more women into the field while also helping others in need. Taylor Gatoni has her story. Armed with hammers, drills, and saws. These women are changing the construction industry. When you start doing something that you are not expected to be able to do, there is definitely an empowerment that happens. It's Nora Alcori Spencer's goal to give women the confidence to pursue high paying, mostly male dominated jobs. When you run that power tool for the first time and you realize, number one, it's not that hard, and number two, it feels awesome to have that kind of power and to be able to create with it. Um, watching that happen is, it's really, really miraculous. Nora started Googling DIY repairs and fell in love with the feeling. She left her Fortune 500 human resources job and opened the nonprofit Hope Renovations in North Carolina. She wanted to give people like 18-year-old Claire a way to quickly be educated in a field that would give her a life-sustaining and fulfilling career. If you're just an entry-level person, you can get up, uh, up to between 60 and 70,000 a year, which is like double what I'm making. For Lucia Foster, it's a second chance after long COVID forced her to end her career at Duke University. The idea that I could learn tangible skills and in a network of support where I really could be not just encouraged to succeed, but lifted up. Another part of the mission, the students and graduates do repairs and renovations to help seniors age in place. There's an intention to lift women up and help us engage in a way that's respectful and helps everyone. We always say at Hope Renovations, if you can see it, you can be it. I'm Taylor Gatoni reporting.